is not going to put your health or your safety in jeopardy. But you will. You will put her health and safety in jeopardy. What the hell is wrong with you, lady? <laughs> Woo! See this? This is the face you have to have when watching Smothered, because it's insane. The dysfunctional level in these families is ridiculous, and even if you think it's inflated because for, t you know, for TV reasons or whatever, still, inflating the madness that is the stuff that could be considered very inappropriate, talking about showering together, the plastic surgery, the pushing your kids for this and, and just denying your other kids, all these things that you see, if you're putting that on display and inflating it, Damn, you got bigger problems than I thought because now you're just talking about exploiting your situation for money and exploiting your kids for money, even though they're not minors. Still, it's insane what we're talking about here. But let's start off with Trevor in India. So Trevor in India are a probably the most dysfunctional that I've seen because it's a mother-in-law and son, and or mo mother-in-law and son-in-law, and they act like they are a couple. Well, Trevor finds himself in a predicament because he has to tell his mother-in-law to get out because now he's finally deciding that he's choosing his wife. Kudos to him. I hope it's not too little too late because the scars on your wife are going to take a long time to heal. But first, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notifications when new videos come out. We have Married at First Sight on Thursdays, 90 Day Fiance on Mondays, and we're doing Smothered on Saturdays. We're going to do some more in the future, and we're going to be looking at a live show once we get to that 1,000 subscribers. I really appreciate the support. Thank you so much. All right. Did you know that they wear matching color? Like matching <laughs> now, before we get into it, this is what you're talking. The brother has come into town. He's in the military, so he hasn't been home in a while. He comes into town, and apparently he knows they're close, but he doesn't know how close. If you were a son and you walked in and saw your brother-in-law this close with your mother... I'm just saying that we're probably going to have a conversation outside. If it's my mom and my brother-in-law, I love my brother-in-law. It's great. You know, we have a great relationship and he ain't like that. But if you're talking about you're that close with your mom where it looks like you're in some kind of relationship, we're going to have a conversation outside. I didn't know that. <laughs> See, you didn't know. <laughs> yeah. I knew that Trevor and my mom was close. When I was he didn't know how close they were. Me and my mom. But they ain't never been as close as they are now. Yeah, exactly. Like, dinner dates? Matching clothes? Now, granted, I will say that the dinner date thing, it's odd because they didn't ask the brother to come and he just came home. But apparently this is supposed to be where Trevor is actually going to be revealing that he needs India to go. Look at her face. <laughs> he said, you already know. He just, he just told her you got to go. And on top of that, he says, I don't want you to go after just saying it's time for you to go because he recognizes that if he wants his relationship to be intact and the stress of his wife to not be so high, she's got to go. But yet he backtracks because guess what? He's not being a man. I feel like I'm eating crazy pills having to take all these man cards. And, and I did I did I take it? I don't know if I took his already, but he is dangerously close because, damn, you cannot protect your woman and you're talking about supporting and protecting your mother-in-law more. That's how he's felt. And yet here we are. He's already backtracked. It's ridiculous. Look at her face. She I'm looks like she's going to kill him. I'm pissed <laughs> because Trevor invited me to come down here. And he did. I gave up everything to come down here. Okay. He did invite her down here. The wife really had little to do with it. So the question is, that or, or or the statement is that was creepy to begin with. Yet he keeps saying, "Well, she helps with the kids. She helps with the kids." But every time it shows her on camera, she's passing off the kids to the wife and going and doing something with Trevor. <laughs> so she got to go. This lady got to go. <laughs> she like, she left. Enough. Look at her pull away. Her. Yeah, she <laughs> left. She couldn't understand. And so he's he's having he's stuck now having to call an Uber and and because mom 60 whatever year old mom stormed away because he's talking about what's best for him and his daughter now if she really cared about her daughter like that she would take that into consider consideration and be like i understand where he's coming from but that's not what she's doing instead she's mad that they're saying hey you may have to find your own place it's time there's too much stress there's all these things and i get it a little bit because he asked her to come. But things change. Situations change. Y'all were too damn close. And that became a problem. We'll see how this plays out. But I think someone getting killed. <laughs> Good God. Someone someone going to get killed. Because that lady looked pissed. 
Not really. Not really going to kill. But it's not going to be good. Now, Brittany and Mary have a problem because Brittany keeps wanting to get plastic surgery and her mom is encouraging her to not, while all the time going leading up to it is encouraged her to get other procedures. Mixed signals is an understatement and you're willing to put your daughter in danger because you like plastic surgery, but now because you think her butt's fine for some reason, it really has nothing to do with her. It has everything to do with the boyfriend because she thinks that he's the one that pushed her to do this. That's the only reason. If it was just plastic surgery, she'd be fine with it. This lady eats, sleeps, and breathes plastic surgery. She looks like she fell into a plastic surgery factory. So here we are. But it gets even creepier with these two. Look. I created this. I created this. She's butt. caressing it. This beautiful. She's butt. caressing I it. Hate this Look, she is caressing it. Look at look at this. For one, does that not look like she just fell into a plastic surgery factory? She is caressing her daughter's butt, but it gets worse. But I gotta say goodbye to my. What's she gonna do? I loved you. She kissed her ass. Oh my gosh! What the hell kind of mom are you? Yeah, it, like I said, these relationships, they're the ones that creepily took showers together until about two seconds ago. So this is the, what I'm talking about with these relationships. There is something seriously wrong and borderline incestuous about these rela relationships. And it, it, it's seriously disgusting. I, and if you would seriously put yourself out there and enhance the craziness just so you can get a little bit of money, that adds to the messed up factor of it all. Now pay attention to her talking about the different procedures she has had. Left. With all the surgeries we've done, all the we've surgeries been by each other's side the whole time. <laughs> I had my eyes done. Eyes done. And you had your tummy tuck done. Tummy oh tuck. Look, <laughs> her belly button looks jacked and up. I can't forget the fat transfer. The fat I transfer. Had, the fat oh, transfer. Yeah. Look, look at her face. My look at her face. My face. Oh my you gosh. So her face looks like a fireball, you know, one of those fireball candies you have, or, you know, jawbreakers or whatever. That's what her face looks like a red jawbreaker or fireball. It, a fat transfer to your face, tummy tuck for the daughter, eye lift or whatever for the mom. Like, we've had all these surgeries, but yet your problem was with the butt lift. No, your problem was with the boyfriend who said he doesn't think she has a big enough butt. Now, saying that to the mom, that has its own problems, but... Th it's pretty clear what you're doing here. You should be telling your daughter, what the hell are you doing? Why would you put yourself in danger? You're a young, healthy girl. What, you know, Work out. Eat right. Do these things to make yourself feel better. Surgery is not the answer. And oh, by the way, no one is going to have a perfect body, whatever you think that is, whatever Victoria's Secret model you think that is. You know, you're not going to have that. No one does. It's better to accept it and try to better yourself in a healthy way than to go and put yourself under the knife. It just is. Now, the problem becomes that apparently she has some sort of condition. The doctor comes in and tells her that they can't do the surgery today because they have some sort of condition that potentially could have an effect with the anesthesia. Better safe than sorry going under. Oh, now it's better safe than sorry. Him, you know, God forbid. <laughs> now she's crying. He's not going to put your health or your safety in jeopardy but you will you will put her health and safety in jeopardy what the hell is wrong with you lady <laughs> God, the doctor will not put the health and safety in jeopardy, but you will. You are her mom. You're supposed to put her health and safety first before the doctor, even though the doctor is trained in this. What on earth is twisted in your mind that you think that, oh, this was OK, but now, oh, it's about health and safety. If he came back in and said, well, there's a medical issue. But we're going to push forward. But there's about a 50-50 chance you don't make it. She'd probably be like, well, do you want it, though? That's what kind of twisted crap this is. They have a serious problem. And it is going to hurt them because they are actually doing physical things to their bodies that affect them. This is going not to end well with them one way, whether it's a botched procedure or what. I don't care what best doctor you go to, you continue to continue to do these surgeries. It's going to be a problem. But here we are. I hope they're OK. I don't wish ill will on anybody, but this mom got problems. Now, Skylar and Sky are a particularly odd bunch as well, because the mom is exploiting her daughter to try to be what she wanted to be, which is some big rap star, some big singer, dancer, whatever. And so she's exploiting her 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 daughter one twerk at a time her 19 year old daughter she sexualized the hell out of her these parents need parenting classes that's all i know I had a background dancing when i was like 18 uh, like 18 years old and my mom took care of my kids and oh that's the price that i paid 
So you but passed off your to... you passed off your kids so you could have your career of background dancing. What happened though, Sky? What happened? Leave Mississippi and pursue my career because uh -huh. I wanted to you make had... anything of myself <laughs> okay. and provide a better life for my children. Okay, she is hiding behind providing a better life for your children. A better life for your children would have been their mom being there, would have been you getting a job anywhere, working your way up the company, getting more money, whether it's retail, food industry, whatever, there is no shame in any of that, and being there daily for your kids. That would have been providing a better life. No, you had to go off, not make anything of yourself, chasing a dream, and then what happened then? Yeah. Yeah. So, do you feel that that resentment comes from you having to leave them for your career? I wonder. <sighs> That's a hard question. It is not a hard question. It's not hard at all. It, of course, comes from it. So the older daughters, this is the thing, the two older daughters, she goes on to say that when she came back, she left when she was 18, when she came back, her older daughters were in their teenage years, and Skylar was six. She was gone for years, and the older two didn't want to leave, and they wanted to stay with Grandma. Well, what do you think? Why? Why would you think that? Because Grandma was mom to them at that point. That's why. But you took Skylar out of there, and you tried to raise her like your little mini-me. There is something seriously wrong with you, lady. And of course your kids resent you. Of course they do. Because you were never a mother to them. You were more like trying to be like the sister that went off to college. You got serious problems. Serious. But Skylar was about six, seven years old. There you go. So my mom said, I'll just keep <laughs> Your mom them said, you'll just keep you them. keep Skylar. That's why me and Skylar's bond is unbreakable. You're, it's, you're and Skylar's bond is unbreakable because you took her and kept her with you. And you kept her close. But yet, off with your other daughters, right? Your mom said she'll keep them. And you said, that's fantastic. Only one? That's all I have to deal with? Lady... You need something. You need a wake-up call. Obviously, you ain't having that because your daughters are clearly putting it out that, like, they, they have problems with you. They have resentments with you. You need to fix this relationship. It's never too late. No one's beyond redemption. But, well, some people, it's hard to say they're not beyond the worst of the worst. Okay, fine. That would be hard for anyone. But no one with stuff like this should be beyond redemption, but you have to make a change. And she is not doing that. She's just crying about all the things she's been through and how it's hard on her. But that's everyone. Everyone's a narcissist up in here, apparently. Moving on. Eva and Sunny, we left them in a fun spot where she threw a drink in Scott's face. <laughs> Let's see where we're at with that. Picture, but I swear it's like... I would rather be dealing with a crazy ex. Or oh, some yeah. Kind of, you know, this is just so weird and different. Exactly. It's really freaking weird that it's like they're in a relationship. It's not a mother-daughter bond. It's like a relationship. It is odd. It goes beyond the religion thing. It goes beyond a relationship thing. It is weirdly close, and I don't blame him for feeling that. Lifestyle with your mom. That's I just want to, you to separate yeah. us. He, that's all he wants. From your mom. That's it. She cannot do it. She cannot separate anything from her mom. She is incapable. He's been saying this since day one. He's, he's saying, I don't want you to not have a relationship with your mom. I don't want your mom to live with us. I don't want her to be there all the time. We need to have our separate relationship. You absolutely do. He's 100% correct. I reached out and apologized for my part. And he had nothing to apologize for. Because the mom said he giggled, he was laughing because it was so ridiculous. Like, that was more of a nervous laugh than, <laughs> y'all are funny. That was more like, this is absolutely ridiculous. He had nothing to apologize for. But, kudos to him, because that's more of a man trying to make things right and protect his woman. Now, at some point, you can't continue to put up with that. But, that is more of a man right there. She apologized to me. I do want to move in with She apologized to you because you did it first. Sunny. I love Sunny very much. Um, That's good. And if one good thing came out of this whole mess, What's it's that? that I learned Sonny can put boundaries on Eva. <laughs> what? What? what boundaries? She was mad because she threw a drink in your face. So that part put boundaries on Eva. I don't think that's really reality, but okay, we'll see. <laughs> then, of course, they have to go over and get the rest of her stuff, which is always interesting. Take you a year to go through it. This is a lot of no, stuff. No, it's not going to take me a year. <laughs> 
but it is going to take me some time. You are delusional. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. Her mom is acting like a five-year-old. What, what mother is acting like such a child here because things didn't go her way? Like, your daughter is an adult, okay? I get it. You have your own vision with your religion and everything like that, but your daughter is an adult. And instead, you're throwing a tantrum, kicking your feet. You literally threw a drink in his face, and yet you think she's acting childish? Nah, man. This, If this doesn't change as well, the relationship is going to be fractured, either Sonny's and Scott's or Eva and Sonny's, I, I think Scott's going to be the, the kind of damage in this one. He's going to end up cutting and running if it doesn't change because Eva ain't going nowhere. It, it's not going to change. And Sonny, it's her mom. So she's not going anywhere. She's not going to abandon her mom. So I feel bad for him because he's the only one kind of stepping up and acting like an adult here. And we save one of the best for last because one of the creepiest ones, which is the pageant mother's, the pageant mother, Catherine and Gabrielle. <laughs> so Catherine, obviously the pageant mother, and Gabrielle, the pageant daughter, who is trying to live up to her mom's shadow. She just lost the pageant, and now they're looking towards next year. But Gabrielle may not want to do that. And yet, I don't think her do her mom really wants to hear it. But her mom has some ideas on the things she wants to do in the future. I want to walk in New York fashion. Okay, fashion. What about the pageants. <laughs> I mean what about the pageants? It's always about the pageants. Uh, she can't do it. She can't do it. You still want to do the pageant. Right? She acted like she didn't want to do the pageants when she was talking about before, but now she can't backtrack because now she's in front of her mom. Yeah. No, you don't want to do the pageants. <laughs> that it's was just... not so convincing. All right, this gets even creepier, though. This isn't just about wanting to do... Okay, for one, she was talking about, I want to do bigger things. Your bigger things are walking in fashion week? Like, have some... Her fulfillment is just, see me, see me, see me. But that's her mom that did that. That is her mom that put that in her head. Her next step is like, oh, well, I'm going this route. I have to walk in fashion week. That's the next you know, next progression in all of this, instead of thinking, okay, I like, she claims she liked to do cosmetology stuff. Okay. What can you do to start your own business? Maybe you can make your own empire, nails, hair, all that stuff. You said you like to do it. So how do you make that yours and your own thing, your own business, be your own boss. That would hold more, more fulfillment than walking in fashion week. When Models are a dime a dozen and they discard you the second you do something they don't like or you gain a pound past what they say you should gain. I mean, it's ridiculous, but that's what your goal is going to be? I don't know about that. I feel bad for this girl because the mom did this to her. The mom did. Yeah, so I'll stay there for the week. Whatever shows I get casted in and I'll go <laughs> up a week. She can't, ha so she can't handle it. Me. A week uh, away from me. From me. You are an ad adult. You can leave if you want to, but your mom is saying a week away from me? What are you talking about? On my own, when we go to New York City, uh -huh. I have to hold your hand across the street to make sure you're okay. Oh my okay. gosh, this Did is you ever creepy. See the traffic in New York City? This is yes, creepy. Cuz cuz I'm there all the time. I know the traffic. With me. <laughs> I have to hold her hand her. to cross the street. What the hell is wrong with this lady? At some point, you have to let your kids grow up. I understand it doesn't just change when they turn from 17 to 18. It's not like a magic switch that flips it. You're like, well, they're adults now. I get it. But this is over the top. Now, do I think any parent should be sending their kid off to New York? I don't know if I'd trust that for sure. But you talking about, I need to be there and hold her hand. It is nothing about her safety. It's about you wanting to be there and you wanting to be in the mix of it. The mix of it. That is all. In the kitchen? Why can't the mom be out walking too? Oh my God. This, this is what she wants, she wants to do. To come on. She like, wants to do it. With me she wants to do it. She is going to be on there with her daughter. How messed up is that? That now, not only is she not letting her daughter have her own identity, but she's going to try to do it with her and do auditions in Fashion Week. I don't think she should be doing Fashion Week at all. I think you should be setting your sights a little higher. But here we are. And yet now she's like, how can I make this about me? Just like when she got up on the stage at the end of the pageant. Then it was like, let me get up here. There's no reason for her to be up here other than to be on the stage. This mom has serious problems. They all have problems. I haven't met one that's saying, except for Christina and Kathy, and they're not even in it every week because they're more of a normal relationship. So here we are with everything just falling apart, blowing up. All these kids are going to have tons of mental health issues. All these parents already have mental health issues. 
We'll see how it all implodes, I guess, but thank you for joining me. I definitely appreciate the support. Make sure you subscribe, comment, like, hit the bell so you get notifications when new videos come out. We have Married at First Sight on Thursdays, 90 Day Fiance on Mondays, and Smothered on Saturdays. That'll be changing up as the show's in and new one starts. Make sure you share as well. I appreciate it. Race to 1,000. Once we get there, we will have a weekly show we're going to be looking at. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and I will see y'all next week.